Hey guys, um, so this video is going to be the top three of each class. There are five classes in the game, Assassin, Mage, Cleric, Warrior, Wanderer. Um, ideally, you try to have like one of each. You don't stack your team too heavy with one of them because of the new flag system. Uh, I kind of got screwed by that because I my team was very mage heavy. Um, but before flags were introduced, and then when flags came out, I no longer can upgrade most of my mages. So don't do what I did, and kind of try to pick the best. Um, spoiler, the heaven and the hell are the top of every class that they're in. That's a given. So let's start from the first class. The first class will be Assassin. Um, surprisingly, the top three include both of the new heroes. So, uh, first place goes definitely to Ripper, who I don't have yet. Uh, he poisons, and ev honestly, everyone with poison is really, really good, because they add a lot of damage over time. Um, if you stack their attack high, or you increase their attack and speed and just get a lot of poison on it, uh, he's good. He also has the highest attack of all the assassins. You can see her 10,700. Um, so it's high attack and lots of poison and yeah, he's he's pretty crazy because he's guaranteed to attack, guaranteed to stack poison on every hit plus his skill plus everything. So he's just very good. He's also really fast. So he's going to get that poison out very quickly. Um, definitely go for this guy if you can get him. Second place is the, the next new... Uh, the next new assassin is Bloodtooth. He he's he drains attack. Not I'm not gonna say he's like special, but he does have this one, which is when he when you kill one of their team, he just gets more powerful. Uh, aside, if you can get that going, he's very good. And the fun part about assassins is that they tend to target specific people or a low amount of people for higher damage rather than mages who just kind of hit everybody or people that hit one back line or front line for a little bit less damage assassins tend to kill people so if you can get him running and get him killing people uh he stacks attack really strong and honestly i'd really love to have one i need to get an assassin on my team but i don't have one uh next one there's a lot of good ones here, but I'm going to give the edge to Ziawana, the the spider, solely because he has utility in that he can stun mages. So if you're trying to if you're having trouble with a mage team, let's say like a Freya team in Den of Secrets or something like that, you know, he is he's a good one to bring along. Otherwise, you know, he's just random nothing special. Uh, he does have this thing that uh, whoops this attack, if you can't, if you dodge his attack, he does more damage to you, which is probably good against like Mulan or other assassins or wanderers with high dodge. So he counters high dodge and he counters mages. All the rest of the assassins, they're like they're strong. They have strong single attacks, but they don't really have the same um, anti anything utility. So you know, I kind of put give deal one of the edge. Um, I don't have experience using assassins because I've never had to level one because my guild tech is junk on assassins. Because uh, I, you know, I went mage heavy, so I have a lot of other things. Anyway, uh, moving on. Next one is going to be clerics, and no surprises here. Number one by far, Verthandi. Uh, she her her skill hits everybody and heals. Her normal attack heals herself. Um, she has reflect, mean, meaning when you hit her, she hits you back. Like, she she has everything going for her. She is the best cleric. She's hard to get, very hard to aim for, but your best call is either pull all your miracle eyes in heaven and hell. Also, in the feather shop, you can get her for 55,000 feathers down here. Uh... I'm in the process of saving for her because she is she is that good, honestly. Uh, next is gonna be hmm. Next one is Ultima. 
Ultima, where are you? This guy is not a healing cleric. He's kind of a utility cleric. Now, the thing about him is, first of all, for fun, his normal attack hits three people. And that's always fun. His other thing, which is pretty amazing, is that when his life gets low, he, he increases the... Oh, he increases your enemy's attack and... Oh, I thought he increased speed. Oh, yeah. His, his special attack increases your speed. So that's like... You don't. I don't think you see that too much. Is um, people that increase your own speed. So and also he raises your attack and lowers their defense when he's at fifty percent. So he's very solid. But again, he does not heal. So if if you need a healing cleric, don't go with him. But if you have, if you already have another healing cleric, maybe in another faction, then you know throw him in because he's pretty powerful. Also, he's got a lot of life. Uh, third one is my favorite. Well, only because I've got him and I don't have the other ones. But Forest Healer. Something specific to say about Forest Healer. He sucks at 5 stars. If you have him at 5 stars, use someone else. Wait until you can get him to 6. The reason for that is that at 5 stars... Where is he? At 5 stars, his normal attack only heals... Um, his normal attack only heals one random frontline ally. His back attack only, or his skill only heals two random backline allies. But when you get him to six stars, his regular attack heals your entire frontline. And his skill heals your entire backline. Actually, no, it didn't heal your entire team. <coughs> so if you have him at five stars, Star, just don't use him. Use you can use anyone. Maybe use like Mega. Maybe use Vivian. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But don't don't try to rely on him at five star because he sucks. Um, and I can say that because I have mine at nine star, and he heals like crazy. He he's very good. He keeps him with a solid tank. They stay alive for a very, very long time. Uh, okay. Moving on is mages. And also, again, no surprise, number one is Freya. Now, Freya is the classic, like, elite character. She's also very hard to get. And her thing is she petrifies. Her regular attack petrifies. Her skill hits everybody and petrifies. And she's, like, strong for a maid. She's also very, very fast. Look at her speed, 827. She might be the fastest... No, second fastest in the game. Let me see. Who is the fastest? Fastest is Mulan. She is the second fastest unit in the entire game. So, don't... So, she is just... And also, this, her passive, it just... It, in, it levels three things. I think most people only level two, but hers is just very, very strong. So Freya, if you have her, use her. And, you know, obviously she's good at five stars, too. Uh, she's just really good. I'm working on my Freya, but she's kind of on hold for a bit. Um, next mage is going to be Saw Machine. Now, this guy... Uh, first of all, he doesn't look like he has a lot of life. He has 70 then. But his at 8 stars, he gets a passive to increase his HP. So he's just very tanky for a mage. As, like, just really, really high hit points. I'm sure you've experienced this in Den of Secrets when you tried to fight him. He's one of the last to go down. What he also does is he hits the entire team, and he is very anti-cleric. So he will be your savior against teams that are heavy on clerics like with Verthandis or you know any other healers forest healer or vivian all of them so he is anti-healing he hits everybody he's tanky and he's pretty strong and i believe he reduces crit yeah he reduces enemy crit rate which is which also helps versus like um nameless king who relies on crit and all that stuff so He's a just a very solid mage, all around. One of the, one of the best. If you have him, use him definitely if you can. 
Uh, third is going to be one that she, Scarlet, by numbers, she's not super strong, but what she has is so much poison. Now, the sad thing about Scarlet is she's very strong at six stars, but her best ability really comes into play at nine stars, which is, you know, a little bit beyond what most people can get to reasonably. And that's what that is, is that this poison, it, um, right now it does six, it has, when you hit her, she poisons you. When she dies, she poisons the whole team. Her skill poisons the team. So everything she does is just poison, poison, poison. And even if her single hits aren't that strong, she's hitting everybody for a lot more per turn just because of how much. So in that sense, she's one of those mages that actually you can use her as a tank. That everybody hits her and poisons themselves and you just stack damage, damage, damage the whole way through. And what I said about this is... At 9 stars, this becomes 100%. When when you hit her, she poisons you back. And uh, let me show you that. Mine is only 8, but this is what it becomes. Um, so at 9 stars is where she just blows up in utility and where she will rock as a as a initial tank. So you put her as your tank, and then you put a real tank behind her so that when she dies they don't proceed to tear up the rest of your team and then she just she does so much damage and i've been playing with this in den and pvp and it's really fun like really really fun uh -huh. and of course she also works well with centaur who does extra damage to poison but we'll get to that when we get to wanderers which is actually next so wanderers um, Wanderers I also didn't invest heavily in because I didn't get a lot of them, so guild tech-wise I haven't fought really hard to, to use them. Uh, the number one is going to be, hands down, Luna. She is so good. Her regular attack hits three people, or no, wait, which one is it? This one. Her regular attack hits three people, and she just has silence. She silences like crazy. Um, she she's pretty fast too. So she's fast. She hits your whole team with her skill. She silences everybody. So I mean, the ideal team would even have like two Lunas. But as an elf, she's probably the best elf unit. She's also super rare. I've never pulled a single one. But uh, yeah. Silence is very, very strong in this game, and uh, if you've if you've been hit by it, you know. Uh, number two is actually going to be Centaur. Now, he and Scarlet have the strongest meta in the game at this time, which is uh, she poisons and he does extra damage with poison to anybody that's poisoned. Um, so that's the only like guaranteed meta so far in the game that just works well together and obviously you can add ripper in there because he also poisons and centaur has fairly decent attack so for him to um is it double uh, it's 66 extra percent for two rounds no that's not what i wanted at all he does 50 percent extra damage to, to poison people let me check that actually He goes up to 60% extra damage to poison people. So he's... He himself is very strong, and he add, he does extra damage to if, if they're poisoned. And so if you have a poisoning person on your team, definitely go with Centaur, because he's just very strong against that. But otherwise, you know, maybe you can use someone else as your elf, depending. Because he is also pretty rare. He doesn't come from four stars. So, uh, he can be phased out pretty easily. <clears throat> Third is going to be another person I don't have much experience with is Medusa. Now, the fun part about Medusa is she has damage reflect. <clears throat> meaning every time you hit her, she hits you back. And 
you know, the more you hit her, the more damage you take back, and that really hurts in, like, Expedition or something like that. So, obviously, if you're using her, you want her to take some damage, and you will see that her Reflect just does... It just adds up very quickly. Also, she has high crit rate. So she um, she hits everybody with her skill, she in increases her own crit rate, and she reduces their crit rate, so... You know, I don't know if, if uh, reflected damage counts on crit rate. Mm -hmm. uh, but she's going to be the number three wanderer. Very, very strong. Also very rare. I don't even have her. Uh, next, we're going to move into warrior. And this one is the most unexpected. Because, very obviously, <clears throat> Mr. Monkey King. Um, the new warrior, the Veg Vegvisir, whatever his name is, he looks pretty bad so he's not going to be in the top uh, number one obviously far and away monkey king he hits back when you hit him he revives when you kill him and his skill does extra damage like after his skill after two rounds you do extra 264 percent damage his attack is not super high but it's not bad <clears throat> His regular attack also petrifies, and he does extra mark damage. So this guy has everything. If Verthandi had everything for a cleric, this guy's got everything for a warrior. He's just so good. And let me tell you right now that this 7-star Monkey King that I got in my last video, it, uh, you can see he has 250,000 life, and he's got um, 60,000 power up here above his skills. He is almost comparable to an Abyss Lord. His life is almost the same. He does tons more damage. And uh, he survives almost as long. There are times when Abyss Lord survives more. But for the most part, uh, this Monkey King is almost as good. And he's not even soft capped level yet. I can level 16 more times. 17 more times. So he just... He's amazing. If you, so he can be a primary tank very easily. Um, number two is also no surprise, Nameless King. This guy doesn't really tank, but he's just good. He hits everybody. He puts a mark on them where a crit does extra damage. Uh, he used to do damage over time with this skill, but that got patched or he got changed. He um. This, so his whole thing is stacking crits, and if he crit, if he lands a critical hit, it just does extra damage, like all the way. So all of this is extra 53% of attack every time somebody gets hit by a critical. So just, uh, wait, can they have both types of marks on them? I don't even know, because I've never used him. Uh, I've never, uh, I've also never pulled him, so, you know, he's just really good. He used to be the toppest of the top tier, but then Monkey King came out, so he got dropped to number two, sadly. Uh, number three warrior is someone that everybody keeps t telling me about, and I don't have him, but we're going to go with Minotaur, because, okay, first of all, I would use Minotaur if I had him. I don't have him. I never had him, and that's why I'm using Abyss Lord. Uh, Minotaur is better. Definitely better. He's a very solid tank. He does decent damage. He's also anti-warrior. Uh, he heals a little bit, kind of like kind of like Walnir. He Walnir he heals when you attack. Minotaur heals when he gets hit. Kind of like Rilia. Uh, he does lots of damage to warriors, and he's pretty tanky. Abyss Lord is actually tankier, but Minotaur does way more damage. So, you know, if I had Minotaur, I would use him. But in this state, right now, in my current state, I am not going to start leveling a Minotaur just to replace him. I would rather level Monkey King. Because he's just much better. So, war if you want, oops, if you want the ideal warrior tank, it's probably going to be Minotaur as the most obtainable warrior tank. Um, 
So that's my top three of each each class. Uh, I want to say that it's very hard to aim for a very specific one. You, the only way you can do it is just to hoard up your shards and hope that the fusion you can you can make you confuse them, or you can try to you can try to convert them with with miracle dust, miracle powder, miracle items. And try to. Uh, it takes a hundred of this to swap a five star into another, any other random five star. Uh, you can't do it on heaven and hell, but you can do it on the other four. So you know, if you happen to need the last one to convert, like if I had two Ultimas right here, and I needed the blue hat, he needs a blue hat to hit six star. Then you can try to convert any other five star you have into that blue hat, and you know that's the way that you would do it. Or I could try to convert him into a second Ultima if I needed that. So that's your best way. The other the other thing that you can do is when you idle in a stage, try to idle in one that's a multiple of five. Because any one that's five gives uh, five star shards. And so that's, that's all you can do. There is no way to hunt for a very specific five star there's no way to guarantee that you can build the best team unless you spent a lot of money there's uh it's all luck and you can only build on what you have so you know try to use the highest tier that's available to you maybe sacrifice the aura early on just to make sure you have good heroes to be fair i don't even have an aura right now and i won't for the foreseeable future because i'm busy leveling a lot of different people uh, so that's that um, hopefully next week I'm kind of predicting should be tavern because we haven't had a tavern event in a while but you know it's random so we don't know uh, I am saving up all of my four and five star if things for now I wish this was easier to sort it's very it's very crowded and hard to find anything um so yeah that's my top three for each each class uh if you have questions comments just leave me a note i'll reply when i can uh see you next time